Hello, I'm Diane Fondo, and this is Jen Conley, and we're coming again from Sequoia Mental Health Center to discuss Alcohol Awareness Month Disease, well, the month of April. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the stages of alcohol use disorder or alcohol use and how it can progress from those initial uses to a full-blown um, alcohol use disorder. So we're going to use balloons to represent different stages of this process. And we know that when um, you're born and you're growing up and you're becoming an adult, you are a healthy blue. Right? Your balloon of your life is healthy, happy, and well-maintained and doing well. There may be, yes, life bumps here and there along the way, um, but overall, your, your wellness is strong. And then as you add alcohol to the scenario, and we know that you are um, initially uh, starting at low levels, but you have what we call the green, the green balloon, right? Which represents the initial stages of use. And it doesn't affect your blue balloon too, too much, but it's the initial low risk Choices, um, not much impairment. You can kind of take it or leave it out the hall. You maybe had a little bit once and then not didn't even really think about it again for a while. You don't develop any health impairments or other problems due to that. So you have just very mild interaction with alcohol at that point. And then your blue balloon stays pretty much the same. You're pretty healthy. For a lot of people, that's as far as it goes. For other people on the spectrum, they move then to what we call the yellow stage of alcohol use, which is more high risk choices, more of an increased tolerance, more planned use of alcohol. And so the yellow sort of take a little bit of prevalence over the blue begins to steep a little bit and lose a bit of its strength as the yellow balloon grows. You may look forward to situations in which alcohol is present in social situations. You may plan more events to revolve around alcohol, and you may begin to develop some health problems related to alcohol. And then as you progress forward into the orange stage of alcohol use, your blue healthy self again is shrinking in decision-making. And the orange stage or the alcohol induced stage becomes prominent and starts driving more of your decision making. You develop a psychological dependence. Um, you have an integration and preoccupation with alcohol. You think about it um, frequently days ahead of drinking or hours ahead of drinking. You may be preoccupied with it quite a bit. You have um, this, your state dependent restriction and sense of relationship to alcohol as the orange grows from there and, and your healthier self sort of starts to take a back seat. And then the Final stage, as you can see, as you progress, your healthy balloon has decreased in size and intensity. And we usually, I would say, we move that sort of to the back of the bus. And then the red stage begins to take over and have more power in your life. And the red stage uh, represents a lot of alcohol use a full developed alcohol use disorder that really drives all of your decision-making. You no longer have the healthiest thought brain to launch yourself from each day to make those decisions. You um, may drink compulsively. You have a higher change in your tolerance. You have a periodic loss of control where you may think that you understand um, how much you're going to drink and when you're going to drink. But in reality, when you sit down to drink, you suddenly can no longer predict how many you'll have or how frequently you'll have it. And that type of 
um, impairment gets out of control because the rational thinking brain becomes less and less in control as um, the red balloon or the, the alcohol use disordered brain becomes more in control of driving the bus. You may have several attempts at reducing alcohol or several attempts at quitting alcohol that are failed. And you can't really understand why your family can't really understand why. Um, and it really has to do with the pattern of you don't have full control of your decision making uh, because of the alcohol use disorder. So then the good news that we're here to tell you about is that if you um, yourself, a loved one, or anyone you know is in this stage where they seem to be not making clear rational decisions, they're on choosing alcohol in every situation or many, many situations where you think, why are they choosing alcohol in this situation? Some people, families and friends feel like they choose alcohol over me. And it just to understand this really is that their brain has been hijacked by an alcohol use disorder that drives the bus and makes the decisions for them. And then the good news is that in recovery, that process can be reversed. So Jenna, I'll let you talk a little bit about recovery. So in recovery, once someone has developed an alcohol use disorder, it, the recommendation is that they abstain from drinking, especially that telltale marker that they can't consistently control their use. And when they do start to use, they typically find themselves back to where they were before. So the suggestion is to abstain from alcohol use. Um, and the good news is if our brain changes in one direction, it can also change back in the other. A lot of people find it helpful to engage in community resources, uh, skill development, uh, weekly uh, individual treatment, uh, group treatment, so typically when someone's reached an alcohol use disorder, they may need some extra supportive help outside of family and friends. Right. And that support and those positive choices refill your healthy blue balloon and deflate the power that your alcohol use disorder has over your decision making and your daily thinking you can again begin to enjoy mm -hmm. all of the things in life that you enjoyed prior to engaging in alcohol use and live a really full, happy, fulfilled life um, in recovery with all of the supports that are out there. We're here for you, um, outpatient level of care program on the seacoast in New Hampshire, embedded in uh, the community mental health center at Seacoast Mental Health. And you can reach us at 603-431-6703. And we'd be happy to help you or to help guide you towards resources for your family or friends. Um, and thank you for tuning in and hope that you all are able to fill your blue balloon and let the other balloons go. <laughs>